money is at the root of some serious problems tonight facing the Liberal government. The Auditor General's fall report says fixing the Phoenix pay system will cost a lot more than the $540 million set aside. It compared the debacle to the $1.2 billion Australia paid for a similar issue. The report highlights another major frustration from the Canadian Revenue Agency. It only answered 36% of calls for help during tax season. And 30% of the time, it gave the wrong answer. CTV's Kevin Gallagher looks at the story behind these stats. The Auditor General delivered a scathing review of the government's inability to fix the Phoenix pay system. In his fall report, Michael Ferguson says a solution is years away. In my opinion, this really has to be the government's main priority. Ferguson says the $540 million budgeted to debug Phoenix won't be nearly enough. Not very reassuring for the more than 150,000 public servants still waiting for pay errors to be resolved. The report recommends more analysis to find the right fix, but public service unions say the system is beyond repair. I think we've studied this thing to death and we do not need another study to know that it's time to pull the plug. An option the public services minister hasn't ruled out. We're also exploring, exploring longer term options that may or may re not result in Phoenix being the long term solution. Carla Qualtro has said the fix could run more than a billion dollars and has blamed the previous government for purchasing the Phoenix system. But the Conservatives say the Liberals ignored warnings that the system wasn't ready. They decided to overrule that and go ahead with it. So it was this Liberal government's decision to press the start button. The spending watchdog also flagged a major concern for Canada's taxpayers. Each year, almost 30 million calls to the Canada Revenue Agency for tax advice go unanswered when there's high volume. And when people do get through to an agent, 30% of the information they receive is incorrect. Every time they get a, they, they, the, the answer that they get from the call centre isn't a right answer. There's always the potential that that is going to impact individuals. Canadians have a lot of frustrations with that agency for understandable reasons and when they find that one in every three answers is wrong, I think a lot of them will throw up their arms and say what's the point in calling them? The CRA says it will update training and call centre technology to improve service, but Lisa, it's still not known if any of these wrong answers resulted in tax penalties for Canadians. Wow.